Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is evening, almost 6 p.m. Central Time. Is we appreciate you joining us on the Vol State Sports Network for tonight's TCCAA action between the Senators of Walter State out of Morristown, Tennessee, versus the Vol State Pioneers here in Gallatin, Tennessee. We're in the pickle field house of the Richard Moore Gymnasium. Brand new court here that was laid down this past summer. Beautiful wood and paint job with patch right in the middle of the court and the Richard Moore signature on either side as the number one team in conference action. The Walter State Senators come in with a 7-1 and one record, 16-1 and one overall as they are second in the league in scoring. So the Pioneers are facing the number one and two teams in the last two games. Chattanooga State Tigers came in with 98, I believe, uh, per game. And here's the Senators with a 97, giving up only 66 and a half points per game. And the Pioneers come in with a three and 15 record, two and six in the league, which is eighth in the conference. Here are the Toyota of Gallatin starting lineups. First for the Jerry Nichols coach, Walter State Senators. Number zero, Terrence J.R. Jacobs, point guard, freshman in the red shirt, 5'10", out of Memphis, Tennessee, Bartlett High School. Number two, Micah Simpson, a 6'2 guard from Morristown. He's a hometown player from Morristown East High School. Jamar Livingston wearing number four, 6'4", freshman guard, Johnson City, Tennessee, Daniel Boone High School. And a forward, number 23, Jalen Wharton, 6'9", sophomore from Plant City, Florida. And Malachi Hale wearing number 30, 6'5", sophomore from Kingsport, Tennessee. He went to Dobbins Bennett High School. Jerry Nichols, as I said, is the head coach. And for the home team, the Ball State Pioneers, Myquan Tucker gets a Back in the starting lineup after having to come off the bench in the last game. He's a 6'7 sophomore wingman from Nashville, Tennessee. Went to Pearl Cone High School, transferred from Motlow State Community College. Number five, Willie Wilson, who's been on fire here lately, a transfer from the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. He's a 5'7 guard, played his high school at Nashville East High School. Asa Hardyway, sophomore, 6'1", guard from Nashville's Hunters Lane High School. Rob Correa, 6'2", wing from Beach High School in Hendersonville, just right down the road from Vol State Community College and also from Beach High School. Number 21, Drew Page, who's just got in the lineup here, just became eligible after the break. 6'6", 230-pound wing, transfer from Middle Tennessee State University where he played football, did not play basketball. Head coach Johnny Lynn in his first year as the head basketball coach. As he is shaking hands with the officials right now, along with his assistant coach, Greg Law, Johnny Lynn, 30-year head coach for women's softball here at Vol State. And that is being handled now by uh, Christian Lynn for the uh, softball team. Both softball and baseball will be gearing up here soon, men's baseball has a game scheduled on Sunday. Yours truly broadcasts that and has, uh, this will be the third year, broadcasting baseball. Alongside today, for the first time, J.L. Seda, a freshman here at Vol State, is will handle analyst duties for us today, and hopefully he'll be back at a later point in February as the clock winds down. JL, you ready for your first junior college men's game now after the women uh, game is a little bit different, I'll just tell you. I'm so excited, man. Uh, I'm ready for a high atmosphere. Uh, I'm ready for a nice defense, hopefully, and a great, great running offense. Well, my experience in Junior college basketball is there's not a whole lot of defense, okay? <laughs> it is get it and go and get it up, Understood. okay? Yeah. So uh, the Chattanooga State Tigers scored 109 on the Pioneers oh, the other day. Uh, I believe Vol State poured in 89, so 20-point deficit, but Chattanooga State scores it 
uh, early and often. So, uh, but the Pioneers boast the number one score in the conference, number one, Mike Juan Tucker, <laughs> averaging about 23 plus now points per game, almost 24. He just went under the 24 mark uh, with uh, his 21 point outing against Chat State. His high for the year, 37 points. Asa Hardyway is second on the team in scoring at just under 14 points a game. He had his high of 31. And Christian Shaw is not. Yes, he is dressed. Okay, I see. Christian was not dressed last game. He's been under the weather, but uh, not in the starting lineup. But Christian is uh, third on the squad with a 10 uh, points per game uh, average. Willie Wilson has had, I believe it's three straight Double figure games here of late, actually four. He's got four games of double figures in on the season, three in a row now. And he had his high in the last game against Chattanooga State at 22. So 21 and 22 points. Willie Wilson is uh, feeling comfortable shooting the three now, where he is added to his three-point percentage, which leads the team at 37 and a half points. The starting lineups being announced. Drew Page is a good physical look at specimen right there, number 21. She will go over and say howdy to our three officials of today's game. They are Jason Creek, Justin Doris, and James Cordial. Pioneers have a, uh, as I said, a little bit bigger bench, although JoJo Brown, who played a number of minutes in the last contest, is not in uniform. He has an academic issue that apparently some sort of a technical problem. As you'll see across the way and to the left as you're watching, a number of the Ball State baseball team have shown up. So it's good to see athletes. Let's get it going, man. As we have a false start <laughs> on the Sumner Regional Medical Center. First tip, Myquan Tucker timed it just right. And the possession goes to the Pioneers. And we've got a clock problem already as the shot clock is should be down to 20 seconds maybe now if it's at 1950. Maybe not. It's as soon as he gets the uh, possession of the ball. Yeah. But they do put it at 20. They're going to say we want it at 22. They <laughs> saw Hardyway will handle point guard duties to begin the game. Willie Wilson curls off of the Drew Page pick, and that ball's tapped away. J.R. Jacobs will run the point for Walter State. Malachi Hale had it and then down in the corner. Jamar Livingston with the shot and misses. Rebound tapped around. Asa Hardyway will pick that one up. Asa's had a double-double this year, rebounds and points. Willie Wilson thought about a three, but guarded by Jacobs. Tucker will break to the basket, comes up with the ball, will fake right, step back. Two is good. That's a nice shot, man. Like Carmelo Anthony was on our floor for a second. Shot by Jacobs, no good. Page with the rebound. Hardyway fakes right, goes left, and has the Pass knocked down. Rob Correa over to Hardyway for three. It's a little long. The rebound goes to Malachi Hale. Gives it up to Jacobs. Gives it over to Simpson. Fakes the shot in the corner. Wild shot at the rim. 
Looked like possibly a double dribble there by Jalen Wharton, who gets the start. Wharton will step in over Page, and shot is missed. Hardyway gives it up to Mike Wontalker, fakes at the three, will go in, draw contact, Ooh. and get the layup to roll in. Big body down there. Shot by Malachi Hale for three is good. First bucket for the Senators as Micah Simpson picked up full court. Hardyway will have a, look like an elbow that kind of came to the jaw of Micah Simpson who went down, but he's going to get the foul called. Hardyway may have leaned into Simpson. A little bit there. Simpson went down, but it'll be a personal foul on Micah Simpson. Rob Correa inbounds to Page. We'll go one on one and kick it out, but fouls on the big man, Jalen Wharton. Warden 6'9", sophomore from Plant City, Florida. Not going to lie. Not doubting that height. Page will go right into the bucket. Left hand. Can't get the runner to go. Jacobs on the move. He'll work on Willie Wilson. The jump stop. And the ball goes into the corner. Jamar Livingston will pick up the three ball. Six to four. Senators lead. Willie Wilson going to be double teamed and with pass is going to be picked off. A, just stepped on the end line and they had a wide open layup down at the other end is J.R. Jacobs. I thought that was a first uh, surefire fast break there. Ramondo Battle. The Jersey Mike's first sub of the game for Walter State checks in. 6'8", sophomore from McKinney, Texas. Wilson going up against Jacobs, gives it up to Page. There's going to be some contact underneath as Livingston is trying to contain Myquan Tucker, the leading scorer in the conference, and prior to Saturday's game, was sixth in the country in Division I. Had him open in the corner. Asa Hardyway will get it to Correa, who pulls it out. Now Hardyway gets a pick from Tucker, working on Livingston. The three is no good. Hardyway goes down. The nice rebound hustle. goes to Drew Page, who misses. Oh, and the no. tap by Hardyway is good. They saw Hardyway. He's not afraid to go inside. In hockey, they call that the dirty area, but they call it the, what? the dirty area. <laughs> nice move there. There's a block by Drew Page on Ramondo Battles. Shot. Tucker, a little trouble with ball handling there, but six to six. We're tied up. 16 minutes to go in the half. Wilson gives it up to Page. He's blocked at the rim. He gets a rebound in the left hand. Is good. That's a big boy in that paint, man. Yeah. Jacobs works on Wilson uh, and will get the foul and the bucket. And one, baby. Jacob says played in all 17 games and started all 17 mm. for Walter State, averaging just under eight points a game. Mm -hmm. Leading free throw shooter. Just doesn't shoot enough of them to get into the leaders of the conference. Ooh. We're seeing a four court press here, Tim. There's a lot of full court pressing uh, against the Pioneers, yeah. both men and women. Myquan Tucker will have to inbound down at the corner as Kenton Major has checked into the ball game. 
Hardyway going to be double teamed. He's looking up to half court, sees Correa, gives it over to Wilson, back to Correa. 6 2 guard there, and that's not his area inside. Hardyway doesn't mind to drive, but he decides to pull it out. It's the pick from Major, and we'll shoot a three. Oh, it's good. Nice, that was a nice team play right there. I like to move around the ball. Off-ball movement is one of the best moves in basketball. Top-tier skill anybody needs to learn. J, oh. no, not JR. That's uh, Greg Moore who stepped into the game. Yep. He got a warning for tapping the ball away as it went through the hoop. Not sure who that was on, but... Greg Moore from Knoxville, Tennessee, Knox Central High School, 6'3", sophomore, gets that three-pointer to go. <laughs> Willie Wilson dribbles the ball out of bounds. Carter Metz has entered the game for Walter State. So Charvez Ambrose, number 10, Carter Metz, number 11. Ramondo Battle, number 22. Let's see who else we got. 25, Jair Horton. And Greg Moore, number five, as Metz, who has also played in all 17 games. Tenth in the conference with three and a half assists a game. Doesn't start, but apparently gets enough minutes to get some assists. Metz with three on the clock will... Fire up a shot. Ooh. He's contested by Christian Shaw, who's checked in for Vol State as well. Myquan Tucker thought about a about a 38 Ooh. foot three and ends up shooting a 32. Asa Hardyway for three. That's good. Asa Hardyway with his second three ball. Shoot him if you see him, man. Shoot it if you see it. 14 to 12, Pioneers lead. Moore will drive, kiss, or kick. It is fumbled underneath. Battle gets it up, does not get it in, but he'll go to the free throw line as Myquan Tucker picks up his first foul. Battle seventh in the conference in free throw percentage, 76 plus percent. They are, as a team, the best free throw shooting team in the conference, 71 percent. Battle gets the first one to go. Metz checks out and Jacobs checks back in. And Sabino Tira will come in for Myquan Tucker. So Correa, Wilson, Otira, Shaw, and Major, the five in for the Pioneers. And we have a timeout. Walter State, Let's see if that'll be a 30 or a full. No, it's timeout. Vol State, so we'll keep it here. It is a 30 second timeout. The score is tied. Six minutes have gone by in a game 14 to 14. 14s are wild up there on that scoreboard on the Toyota of Gallatin scoreboard. Big shout out to general manager Eric Carr and Jake Thompson across the street. He's the general sales manager over at Toyota Gallatin for providing new scoreboards here in the Pickle Field House. New scoreboards at, on the baseball field and the softball complex. Beautiful, beautiful uh, additions to uh, all the facilities here at Vol State. This Vol State team seems really hungry to win against this top conference team. Otira with the oh. football pass. Willie Wilson able to save it, but Walter State takes possession. Jacobs comes full court, kicks to the right, and the three-pointer is no good by battle. Rebound to Kenton Major. Major is a sophomore transfer from Welch College. Played his high school basketball. Right close here to Vol State oh. at Station Camp as ball is tapped away by Battle, but it goes out of bounds. And it'll be 
Well, they're going to say that Sabino Tira knocked it out. I thought that was uh, Vol State basketball. But... Yeah, I thought that was Vol State ball too. Carter Metz back in the game. He is kicking a pass over to Greg Moore, who misses on the three, and a tap goes to Ambrose. No boxing out. Willie Wilson tried to go right through two Senators, and Battle will pick up the reach-in foul. Willie Wilson was bailed out there. They saw Hardyway. Hustles quickly to the scorer's table. Drew Page takes a little more leisurely approach as they check in. The Jersey Mike's subs for Ball State. Pressure defense has been a problem for the Pioneers all year long. Ball handling, lazy passes. Need to be crisp, more crisp with the pass as Christian Shaw, his first shot attempt in a good while. Asa Hardaway come flying in to get a rebound, and he is escorted to the side by Greg Moore, who picks up his first personal. Hardaway will inbound. Shaw was open at the three-point line. Drew Page will have it in the corner. Guarded by Jalen Taylor. Number 13, spin move by Page. Ball State will retain possession with 11 on the clock. I wouldn't want to guard him in the paint. Myquan Tucker walks up to the scorer's table and he will replace Sabino Otira. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tucker gets it and goes right to the basket. Rebound Ooh. by Hardyway is no good. Drew Page knocks the ball out of bounds as Charvez Ambrose was dribbling up court. Micah Simpson and Jameer Livingston will check back in for the Senators, who lead 16 to 14. Carter Metz, red shirt freshman from Rogersville, Tennessee, gives it up to Battle, who has a finger roll in for an easy bucket. Hardyway is going to be double teamed now. Picks it up as he turns. Gives it up to Willie Wilson. Gives it right into Drew Page. Thought he was going to have a slam, but just didn't have his steps right. But Page gets his second field goal. Three-point shot. No good. Tapped out by Hardyway. He gets a rebound. He's going to probably go right to the rim and have that block, or that shot blocked. Did not realize Walters. Defender was coming behind him. Three-point shot, no good. Block out by Shaw, and the rebound goes to Myquan Tucker. What I want to see from this Pioneers team is that pressure defense, how they're going to handle that this game. Uh, maybe they can make the correct pass down the line. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Willie Wilson thought Hardaway was going to head to the corner, and he did not. Yeah. Rob Correa will check in for Christian Shaw. He's probably still battling a little bit of the – Whatever he had up being under the weather. Malachi Hale is checked in and they're gonna run the weave over the top. Hale slips under. Metz will be called for traveling. Greg Moore started to go in the game and head coach Jerry Nichols said, no, nah, come on back. Let's put Charvez Ambrose in for Mets. He might be doing a little offense defense with Mets here. It doesn't look like he's playing defense much if he gets a chance uh, to sub out. Page, not a threat from three point range. Iquan Tucker, a threat from anywhere, and he gets that nice, pretty shot to go in. He's got three two point field goals. Six points and 18 to 18. Pioneers trying to stay with the number one team in the conference. Oh, there's going to be a travel. A little slip there causing 
Oh, man. Jamar Livingston. Support. Full court pressure by Walter State. Hardyway will handle the ball. And he's going to be double teamed. Gives, tried to give it up to yeah. Drew Page, and there's that. Oh, nice. Oh, man. Nice. I don't know if they'd call that an assist or not. They probably not. They're going to call that a missed shot. Be my guess. It was an assist, but. It looked like a hoop to me, Tom. <laughs> Willie Wilson's going to drive. Going to try Ooh. to get an up and under. Gets his own rebound and pulls it back out. Nice hustle, man. Tucker yes. for um, 32 Shoot for it, three. Man. Good. Naquan Tucker on fire right now. Back-to-back -back shots, right? Mm, it's a first three, but he had a nice. Nice little two there. Mm -hmm. Going to go to the baseline, but he stepped out of bounds, did Micah Simpson. Is that another turnover? Turnover, turnover for Walter State, so let's yep. see. Okay. I think that was a nice Simpson turnover. Walter State running a number of players in and out of the ball game. Too fast pace of a game, but they played about everybody on their roster except for, I think, one player. Tucker gets a screen from Page, and he's going to fire. He's going to have that shot blocked. Ambrose goes right down the lane, and Tucker returns the favor. He gives it up to Page. Underneath with the left hand again. Drew Page. Great a nice nine. assist by Mike Juan Tucker. Yep. 23 to 20, Ball State with a three point lead. Coming up on nine minutes to play. Malachi Hale for Ooh. three, and it's good. Ties that game right back up. 23 23. It's his second three, full court pressure again. They will drop back and then double team once Hardyway. No, they're not. They're going to go ahead and back up to the three-point line. Hardyway calling the play. Four at the corners. Correa goes over to pick for Tucker. Nobody moving now. It's just a one-on-one -on -one for Ooh. Drew Page. He draws a lot of contact and scores through it. That's a big boy in the paint right there. Eight for Page. Age playing in his eighth game of the year has started all eight. Averaging 8.4. Oh. Nice defense by Willie Wilson. And an over and back call. As Ambrose was, had Willie Wilson all over him, checking in. Terrence J.R. Jacobs will give Ambrose a rest. To see the Lady Senators are walking out on the other side of the gym. Hardyway with Simpson all over him. Kicks out to Tucker, being guarded by Livingston. Drew Page, now Willie Wilson, who's not been able to get his three shot to for an availability. Correa tried to go inside. Hardyway oh. will fire one up at the shot clock, working down. Knocked out of bounds by Drew Page. And Coach Johnny Lynn yelling out something, I think, to Willie Wilson, maybe about taking the shot, not giving it up when it's shot clock goes below five. Willie Wilson is one quick basketball player. Tucker got way up in the air as Malachi Hale now has eight. 25 to 25. Wilson's got it, but a quick closeout oh. by Jacobs and a block on the pass. Willie Wilson with four on a shot clock, gives it up again. Page double team's got to get it up. They're going to call traveling on Drew Page. I think that was the right call. We just keep getting double teamed inside. And yep. I think he's trying to go for the foul there. Yeah. 
the officials weren't going to bail them. Yeah. Pioneers out. J.R. Jacobs drives on Hardyway. And a back cut there by Livingston. Another shot by Malachi Hale. 25-28 to Walter here. Seventh in the conference in three-point percentage, Malachi Hale, 42% coming into today's game. Now made 29. Drew Page going to go inside with the left hand again. He's going to draw the foul. I guess that this foul time. call he's looking for. Sorry? He gets that foul call he was looking for. About time. See who that foul's called on. It's called on Hale. Yep. Drew Page will go to the line. Now, you're going to see a high arching free throw shot right here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. High shot. I think Dirk will be proud of that one, you think? If you're talking NBA, I'm not a big NBA guy. So, I know Dirk <laughs> Nowitzki, but I couldn't tell you what his, what his free throw style was. I think you hit the, the gym ceiling if uh, he was here right now. Ooh, high shot. Sure. One out of two. Yes. Kenton Major will come in to replace Drew Page. Nine points for Page. Livingston looked for that back cut from Hale. Major is guarding Hale. JR is going to go all the way in on the left side, and Willie Wilson had nothing for Jacobs. Sabino Tira also in the game. Rob Correa has the ball. Kenton Major over to Asa Hardyway. And there's that pass right there that gets knocked away a lot of times. Um, there just needs to be some more ball fakes, it seems like. We have a lot of, a lot of steals that way. Otira, who's not a threat from three-point range. Willie Wilson is. That's a little bit long uh, there. Backboard. Livingston back to Livingston from J.R. Jacobs and badly off. One on two. Willie Wilson back to Hardaway for three. Shoot it. Good. Great bucket. That was a nice dime. So you saw that. They saw Hardaway with three three pointers as is Malachi Hale for Walter State. And he's going to have another attempt and oh. in and out. Another rebound to Hardyway. Gets it up to Correa. Scores on the court right now are Asa Hardyway and Willie Wilson. The other three are more rebounders and defenders. Passers, but Correa is going to go to the free throw line for the bonus as Jamar Livingston says he picked up his second. Seems like this Pioneer team really wants it today, don't they? Playing really hard today. They're playing tough. Yeah, play tough early. Correa misses the front end. Quiet in the gym. Working on oh. Kenton Major was Jair Horton. Hardyway guarded by Jacobs. Gives it up to Major. Correa to Otira. He'll go in and pass to ah. Christian Shaw, who's standing on the end line as Kenton Major takes a tumble. Ramondo battle and... Major, we're going at it. But Sabino Tira, that's a shot you're going to have to put up there. And he's third in the conference in field goal percentage. He doesn't throw up a lot of them, but came in 63 for 105. Swinging the ball into the corner. Greg Moore pops and misses, gets his own rebound right at the rim. And looked like a lot of contact by Kenton Major. Is I think they do call it on Major. That's his first. 
got team third foul, but Greg Moore will go to the line for two free throws. Sometimes you have all ball, sometimes you have all arm there. <laughs> First free throw good. 29-31, Walter lead. Head coach Johnny Lynn. Or excuse me, head coach Jerry Nichols telling uh, Walter team turn up. Full court pressure. Christian Shaw being guarded by Greg Moore and now yep. gonna be double teamed. Yep. He's gonna try a step through and yep. he's gonna be called for traveling. Yep. He thought he was gonna be getting Going to the free throw line for the foul, but Willie Wilson will check in for Shaw. Just that pressure, man. Got to anticipate that double team and yeah, of course. try to dribble out of it or give it up before it happens. Jacobs gets in that paint, Ooh. kicks out for three, and okay. Micah Simpson, it's his first field goal, and Walter State now with a six-point lead, 35-29. A lot of dribbling against that pressure. Oh. Rob Correa can't handle the pass from Hardyway and another turnover. Myquan Tucker yeah. is called upon now. We got 3.31 left in this game, and uh, the past, like, 15, 20 seconds, pure pressure from the from, from backcourt right there. Thompson and Wilson going at it. Ooh. Kick out by Thompson and pass goes to nobody. Turnover, Walter State. 3.20 to go in the half. Drew Page. Well, here's Carter Metz coming in to play defense. So my theory earlier was incorrect to say that they, they brought him in for offense. He's coming in to play defense. Drew Page. Also in the game, along with Christian Shaw. Shaw, a transfer from East Tennessee State University. Nobody moving <laughs> to come to get the pass. I have no idea what play that is. <laughs> but Christian Shaw is standing there and four other guys standing still. Willie Wilson's wide open in the backcourt, and he gets the pass now. And will get across the timeline. 12 on the shot clock. Trying to get Myquan Tucker open. Yep. Hardyway looks at the shot clock. He's going to step back for a three. It's going to be short. Oh, and a run out by Greg Moore, but Micah Simpson will take it himself. Get it down, have it blocked by Christian Shaw. Ramondo Battle couldn't get that one up. Myquan Tucker with a nice, soft one-hander. Eleven for Tucker, averaging almost 24 a game. Right oh. down the lane goes Battle, gets his own rebound, and he's going to pick up a foul. They're going to say that ball hit the guide wire, or actually Johnny Lynn saying it hit the guide wire, but none of the officials agree. Yeah, I thought it did. That was definitely going to be a turnover, but it went high. I just don't know if it hit the the wire, but Tucker picks up his second personal foul. Yeah. Battle with a nice push down the lane, but just couldn't get the slam to go. If you were with us on Saturday, there was a lot of that from Chattanooga State. I bet they missed five dunks. Armando Battle's first free throw miss, or uh, sorry, a make. He's now three for three. Yep. Five points on the game. Second free throw, good. Page gives it up to Hardyway and gonna put it in the hands of Drew Page. He's gonna go right to the rim, high off the oh, glass. Man. It's no good. Drew Page reach in, and Simpson will go to the line for three. I, I didn't think that was a. Yeah, I didn't think that was. You didn't think he fouled him. I didn't think, I didn't think I <laughs> <laughs> that official was like five feet away from him. <laughs> he might have heard a smack going on, but uh, Simpson's shot went to the left. He will go to the free throw line for three shots. 
I think it just might be my bias, Tim. Simpson shoots it at 69% from the free throw line. Ooh. He's 0 for 2. Going to try to get a reboot as he steps off the line now, and Rob Correa checks in for Vol State. 37-31 lead for Walters. Thanks for joining us on the Vol State Sports Network. Send an email. We'll put it up there uh, at some point in time Ooh. as he gets one out of three. Oh, T at gmail.com. Let me know where you're watching from, who you're rooting for. Yeah. And join the show as Let's see if they make the smart play. Nice. Tucker's oh. gonna get the foul. Johnny Lynn barking. Greg Moore picks up his second foul. Not a lot of fouls called in JUCO basketball. You gotta play. You got to play through a lot of contact. Mm -hmm. Jamar Livingston with two fouls checks in for Greg Moore, who has two fouls. And at the line, Myquan Tucker with two fouls will shoot some free throws. He is the leading free throw shooter in the conference at 89%. And he Ooh. gets the shooter's roll on the first one. First in scoring, first in free throw percentage. Sixth in the league in rebounding at seven boards a game. The leading scorer for Motlow State a year ago. Oh, nice. Transferred to Vol State, entertaining some four-year offers from Division II schools, NAIA schools, and I think one Division I school, NCAA. Carter Metz will get one up and get one in. Made that a seven-point game here. 140 he's, left in the quarter. He's almost at his, his average for the year at 2.2 with that bucket. 40 to 33, Ball State. Need to have a good end of the half here to stay close. Hardyway is off the ball foul. Carter Metz trying to guard Myquan Tucker. And that is a good mismatch right there. It says that Metz is 6-1, but... I don't believe he is, but I'm not standing down there, but Tucker's 6'7". I think he might be 6'1 with shoes, so, you know, let's, let's see. One and one, nice, and man. Tucker nails the first. Because it's down to a six-point game. 14 in the half so far for... A left-handed sharpshooter and oh. just rims out. Wilson going to pull up or take Metz full court. Metz gets by, but Wilson tried to tap from behind, but Willie picks up his second personal foul. Only six team fouls for the Pioneers, nine for Walter State. Armando Battle gives it up to Livingston, who goes to the rim. Drew Page was standing oh. inside the restricted area. Hardyway working, giving up to Correa. Willie Wilson looking for an outlet. Not at the shot clock. Tucker ah. trying to get by and we'll throw get it, the ball. Ah. Trying to throw it off as a coach is standing. I mean, he is right, yeah, might wanna... right on the uh, out, of, out of bounds area there. Yeah. Two seconds on the shot clock. So Pioneers are going to have to get it up quickly. Pass to Drew Page. A oh, Lord. fall away two-pointer that's not even close. Livingston. Closed out by Correa. Battle will work inside and get the basket. Pioneers now down by 10. Going to need to work for the last bucket as the shot clock is off. And Ball State with a bucket can keep it within, but they're not going to 
They're not going to keep it because the possession is going to go to Walter State now with 5.1 on the clock. Correa got tied up. Johnny Lynn shakes his head, walks to the you to seat. Simpson going to try to get a shot off. Oh. Will contest it, and the shot does not go in. Yeah. Good bit of contact right there, but Pioneers keep it to 10 points. 44-34 as they go to the locker room. They'll need to regain some uh, strength and energy here because the second half has not been kind to Vol State in games like this. They run out of uh, run out of energy. So we will take a break at halftime here. Thanks again to Nico Wallace, our director, running the camera and commercials, Shout doing it all. And JL Seda is here on the microphone. This is Tim Reese, and we will be back on the Ball State Sports Network. One thing I would say that's really special about Ball State is essentially the relationship that the institution has with its students. This is a place where you can get comfortable and you can be fine-tuned with the people that are in the same field as you are. Ball State is like my second home. I've gained so much here, I can't even describe it all. So my story began for me about five years ago. Had the world in the palm of my hands. I go into work one day, and then I'm told, you're gonna to be laid off indefinitely. We don't have a space or a place for you. And there was two things I could have done. I could have just folded and just said, you know what, my life is ruined, it's over, I'm defeated. Or I could pick myself up, dust myself off and say, Let's start again. And so I decided that I would come to Ball State. Ball State's prepared me by giving me all the skills I need to start off. This first class is about mechanical engineering and more of the physical side of mechatronics, just creating 3D objects with routers and mills. This is where it's all at. I didn't realize how great this place was until I really explored my options. But we have a great recording industry program. Um, we have great equipment. We have some faculty here who have worked in the industry. I love Allstate. I would recommend it to anybody. I want to go into PR and journalism. Being at a smaller community college helped me to better navigate and know what to expect when I'm ready to expand my studies at another university. I think this was the perfect start to my journey possibilities are endless. It's a solid foundation that you can go anywhere in the country with. My dad and my parents period were my biggest champions. He got sick and we didn't know it. He died of cancer, it was sudden. And he kept asking me, baby, when are you gonna graduate? I was like, it's coming, <laughs> it's coming. I really thought I couldn't do it. But I was determined, and here I am now at the finish line, living proof you can do anything that you put your mind to. Just gotta believe. This has been a great journey. I have nothing but great memories. And I will cherish these memories for as long as I can. It's been tough. It really has been tough. I've had a lot of hills to climb. I've had obstacles, but now I'm at the top of the mountain and the view is incredible. I see so many possibilities in front of me. The ball state, it did, it changed my life.
Tim Reese, JL Seda. I'm going to get it, JL. Back for the second half where Pioneers are down by 10 to the number one team in the conference, Walter State, 44-34. Here are the now official statistics in the second half for the visiting Senators. They have uh, spread out their scoring. The leading scorer is Malachi Hale. Got three threes in the game, 11 points, eight for Ramondo Battle. Five each by J.R. Jacobs, Jamar Livingston, Greg Moore. Four for Micah Simpson. Two each for Charvez Ambrose, Carter Metz, and Jalen Taylor for a total of 44 points. They're eight for 10 from the free throw stripe and have had six three-pointers for the game. For the Pioneers, only three players have scored. Mike Juan Tucker with 14, Asa Hardyway with 11, and Drew Page with nine. Willie Wilson has not scored in the game. They were four from set, four for seven at the free throw line and had four three-point shots. JL, what, what say you here at halftime? Uh, well, what I've gathered from the game, uh, from this first half, uh, I want to see the Pioneers maybe handle, uh, handle that ball a little bit better, handle that full press, that full court press a little bit better. Uh, we saw here, uh, Firstly, with maybe uh, uh, Asa, Asa Hardaway getting pressed right there. Uh, it is such a tough situation. You maybe have a man open and he might not see it. I just want to see a little bit more communication from the guys. Uh, for sure, for sure, for sure, a lot more off-ball movement. I think we're more effective when we're uh, working off the ball, uh, waiting for waiting patiently, waiting for the pass, but not too patient to the point where we run out of shot clock time, you know? Uh, I just don't want to see a lot of lazy plays. I saw a few passes there that could have been maybe a little bit handled better. There's nothing wrong with maybe doing a little bit of a bounce pass. It's not too much effort. Come on, guys. All right. If you want to join the show, send an email to tresports at gmail.com. I don't know if we have uh, chats. Uh, I don't think we have the chats turned on on YouTube, but uh, you can join the show by sending an email to tres, that's R-E-E-C-E, sports at gmail.com. Let me know who you are, where you're watching from, who you're rooting for. Here as the second half is about to begin. I just don't want our guys to get too tired, you know. Uh, you want to give them the second half off? You want to go in and play in second half? <laughs> I have, to suit up, I have, to, I have to suit up a jersey real quick. Yeah. Uh, we got several guys on the bench have not gotten into the game, but yeah. uh, eight players have played for. Pioneers, 11 Senators have gotten into the game. Yep. Malachi Scary. Hale with three threes and a field goal to lead the Senators with 11 points. Yep. Scared of that lead getting a little bit too big if we get a little bit too tired, you know? Well, the average uh, margin of victory for Walter State this year is right at about 30 points a game. Oh, good Lord. The Pioneers have given up 90 points a game yep. on average and scored it at 78. So right at about 13 points of deficit for the Pioneer. Mikwan Tucker here bringing the ball in. Let's see what he can go for here. So Willie Wilson, Drew Page, Rob Correa, and Asa Hardaway, and Mikwan Tucker is starting five again for Ball State. Wilson going to handle it against Jacobs and oh. his Shot uh, is no good. Rob Correa could not handle oh, the, he's looking there. the rebound. It was loose for a while. Jacobs in the alley-oop is oh. not connected with Jalen Wharton. Yep. Malachi Hale, Jalen Wharton, Micah Simpson, J.R. Jacobs, and Jamar Livingston, the 5-4 Walter State. Rob Correa coming out here limping a little bit. Hopefully he's all right. Uh, he had an awkward step toward that ball. Wilson kicks out to Christian Shaw, who just got into the game. Over to oh, Mike Juan Tucker. Shoot that. Four, three. Nice shot, baby. Come on. Thirty-seven points now for Pioneers. Down by seven. Simpson over to Jacobs. Jalen Morton. 
Going to get to the paint. Looks like he's slipping around in that paint. Five on the shot clock, and Jacobs will drive. Oh. Kick over to Wharton. He oh. is met at the rim by Page. And they're going to call the second one on Page as Wharton was very aggressive yeah. at the rim. I thought they could have called the first one. Drew Page picks up his second foul. I'm liking the, the physicalness in the, in the interior right now. Don't let them bully you in the paint, you know. First three throw good. Jalen Morton has played in all 18 games now. He started 15. Six, nine. Jesus. His first points of the ball game are free throws. Asa Hardaway bringing the ball up. Oh, full court press here. Nice. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Jalen Warren, another bucket here. Asa Hardaway giving it to Willie Wilson. Wilson giving it to Hardaway. Hardaway to Christian Shaw. Shaw back to Hardaway here. Give it to Page at three line. Not sure that's a good idea. Laquan Tucker backing him down. Back to Page. Big body. Oh. Shooting foul here. Page to shoot two free throws.
all working in the cloud. But what really is the cloud? If you start pulling back the clouds themselves, you find out it's an infrastructure. Computer science is really computer engineering. Right now, Middle Tennessee is quickly becoming a growing tech hub with several IT companies that are looking for skilled workers. If you're pursuing the CIT program at Ball State, you're preparing yourself to fill those positions. Have you ever wondered what happens when you click buy it now? A whole series of transactions take place from the manufacturer to your front door. That is logistics and supply chain management. At Ball State, we offer end-to-end -end supply chain courses. Going into the future, our students need to understand these processes. A lot of business is dependent upon getting a product on time. Students here at Ball State are able to leave here with that knowledge. Because the supply chain is counting on me.
The volunteer state has always been home to pioneers. Dreamers and hard workers blaze their paths here. From the TVA to Mountain Dew to touchscreen monitors to the Grand Old Opry, Tennessee has been home to innovators, creators, and entertainers. From humble beginnings to changing the world, Tennesseans have pushed the boundaries of what is possible. We pioneer healthcare, infrastructure, engineering, and product development. At Volunteer State College, we've developed our degree certifications to carry the torch of Tennessee success with flexible options to help you blaze your pathway. We are searching for pioneer-minded students who are on their own journey of growth. Learn how these pathways are shaping the future of Tennessee, like those that have come before. Blaze your pathway. Your career awaits. Ball State.
One thing I would say that's really special about Fourth State is essentially the relationship that the institution has with its students. This is a place where you can get comfortable and you can be fine-tuned with the people that are in the same field as you are. Ball State is like my second home. I've gained so much here, I can't even describe it all. So my story began for me about five years ago. Had the world in the palm of my hands. I go into work one day and then I'm told, you're gonna to be laid off indefinitely. We don't have a space or a place for you. And there was two things I could have done. I could have just folded and just said, you know what, my life is ruined, it's over, I'm defeated. Or I could pick myself up, dust myself off and say, let's start again. And so I decided that I would come to Ball State. Ball State's prepared me by giving me all the skills I need to start off. This first class is about mechanical engineering and more of the physical side of mechatronics, just creating 3D objects with routers and mills. This is where it's all at. I didn't realize how great this place was until I really explored my options. But we have a great recording industry program. Um, we have great equipment. We have some faculty here who have worked in the industry. I love Allstate. I would recommend it to anybody. I want to go into PR and journalism. Being at a smaller community college helped me to better navigate and know what to expect when I'm ready to expand my studies at another university. I think this was the perfect start to my journey. Possibilities are endless. It's a solid foundation that you can go anywhere in the country with. My dad and my parents period were my biggest champions. He got sick and we didn't know it. He died.